Hi there, welcome to this lesson. We are looking at rotations around the origin uh, and we've already looked at some rotations around the origin, especially uh, 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Now we're going to look at uh, rot any angle rotation. So in other words, if I have any point Tx and I rotate it, rotate any angle, theta degrees, anti-clockwise, around the origin in other words the coordinate 0 comma 0 what that means is let's make a, a drawing here okay okay it's a poor straight line but if I rotate a point uh, around another point what I do is I connect those two points with a straight line okay so this is the point X comma Y and then from there in the direction that's indicated anti-clockwise so I'm going in the anti-clockwise direction I measure off the angle of rotation in this case theta degrees then I take the same distance let's call this distance from the origin R okay for radius I measure that same distance off here okay and that looks like 90 degrees so let's not use let's let's use a little bit different angle go a bit more okay that's definitely not 90 degrees okay but what we now do is we connect this also again with the origin same distance as I said if this is distance R okay I'm going to keep the distance from the origin R okay and now this is now my image X accent Y accent so what would be the transformation rule in other words what should I do with X and Y in order to get the values for X accent and Y accent and here's the formula quite simple no I lie okay, it's a little bit complicated so don't fall on your back it's X cos theta so I take my X coordinate multiplied with the angle the uh, with cos of the angle theta I mean okay minus now I take my y coordinate and I multiply it with sine of the angle theta okay it might not make much sense to you now but we are going to look at the proof in just a minute okay now how about the y coordinate well the same thing we take the y coordinate okay multiply that with cos of theta and then we take the x coordinate but this time we add so there's a difference in signs this one has a negative that one is a positive and we multiply the X coordinate with sine of theta this is for a rotation anti-clockwise around the origin so now what happens when we do a clockwise rotation okay so this time let's say we've got theta clockwise okay let's say a C W and here we just say C W Okay, CW. That's now a clockwise rotation. Well, please remember that a clockwise rotation is just in the opposite direction. So all we do with our angle is change the sign of the angle. So this would be X cos of negative theta minus Y sine of negative theta. And that's for the X coordinate. For the Y coordinate, Y cos of negative theta plus x sine of negative theta okay in order in, in other words now we are rotating in this direction theta in in this direction okay uh, but I want to use the sketch I'm leaving like that let's just simplify that so that my angles inside are positive and acute now that would mean that this is x cos of negative angles negative angles is the fourth quadrant cos is positive there okay so cos of theta minus y sine of negative angles as uh, sine is negative in the fourth quadrant so the negative one multiplies the negative one already there to become positive y sine of theta comma y cos of theta again just stays y cos of theta because cos of negative angles remains just cos of the positive angle but the negative one comes from the sine because sine is negative in the fourth quadrant to make this negative x sine theta so this is the formula for a and uh, sorry a clockwise rotation what is the difference the only difference is in the anti-clockwise direction the first 
uh, coordinate has a negative between the terms the second one is a positive here the first coordinate has a positive the second coordinate has a negative okay I hope you are happy with that because now we're looking at the proof I'm going to use this sketch for the proof and in this sketch what I'm going to do is just call this O and I'm going to drop down a line here and I'm going to call this uh, capital X okay and uh, then this point I'm going to simply call P and I'm only doing that for uh, for my construction step because remember I rotated theta degrees anti-clockwise okay so this angle is theta and all I want to do is call this angle alpha you can call it anything it does not matter what you call it it is just a temporary uh, construction on my sketch so I am going to start by saying let P O X equal alpha that was not part alpha was not part of the original instructions here we only have X Y and theta now I need to give this extra condition extra construction let's just call the angle that we get when we connect the point X with the origin the angle it makes with the x-axis p o x okay and now let's say because r was also never part of the original expression here that we're trying to prove let p o equal r so this is our construction step and that's almost the most difficult part of this whole thing okay now if we have that remember now in triangle p o x so in triangle p O X we have that this side length here is Y it's Y because it's Y high and it's X long so this side length is X and the hypotenuse is R so we can see that sine of alpha is equal to X over R and that cos of alpha is equal to Y I line sorry guys sine of alpha is y over r and cos of alpha is x over r forgive me okay so sine remember is opposite which is y over hypotenuse which is r cos is adjacent which is x over hypotenuse which is r then we can continue by saying okay that means here we get that y is equal to r sine alpha and in this one x is equal to are cause of alpha okay this is a different way of representing the point y and x if I know what angle it makes with the x-axis as well as the radius its distance that it is away from the origin now at this point it doesn't yet make sense to you why we are doing this but uh, once you see the big bigger picture I'm sure you will understand okay so that's the case for for uh, the point X Y how about the image X the X coordinate of the image now remember in here alpha is simply the angle that it's making with the X axis the positive part of the X axis okay now the angle that we're making with the positive side part of the X axis is theta plus alpha so X will be R cos theta plus alpha okay again I'm representing the X coordinate in terms of the distance that it's away from the origin and the angle it makes with the positive part of the X axis that's the angle it makes for the Y image we get R sine uh, theta plus alpha alpha plus theta doesn't really matter okay so um, in my next step I can now use my compound angle formulas to uh, expand this expression so cos of alpha plus theta remember cos is uh, or sine is same sine different ratios cos is say a uh, different signs same ratio so cos is cos theta cos alpha same ratios different sine minus sine theta sine alpha okay and sine is 
same sine, different ratio. So sine is sine theta cos alpha min, uh, plus, same sine, sine alpha cos theta. Okay. And now when we multiply in, we get the following r. I'm just going to swap these terms around. I could, should have done it here already, as say alpha plus theta. Um, that would have made it a little bit different. But I'm just turning the factors around. So this becomes r times cos of alpha. Can you see why I did that? Because r cos of alpha is equal to x. Okay, that's why I did it. Cos theta minus r sine of alpha. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just multiplying r to the two terms inside here, uh, distributing the r, I mean. So sine of theta. And the same goes for here, r cos of alpha sine of theta plus r sine of alpha cos of theta. Okay, and now I can replace everywhere where I see an R sine alpha. I can replace Y. Every place where I see an R cos alpha, I can replace an X. Okay, so there's an X. Okay, and there's an X. R cos alpha is equal to X. And uh, R sine theta is equal to Y. And there's an R sine theta, uh, alpha, sorry, not theta. And there's an R sine alpha. So now I get that X cos theta minus Y sine theta. Okay, that's the X coordinate. And X sine theta plus Y cos theta. And there we go. It is exactly what I have up here, way up here x cos theta minus y sine theta, that's the x coordinate, and x sine theta plus y cos theta, it's just turned around the two terms down here, x sine theta plus y cos theta, but they are exactly the same as before. So there we've proven that the x coordinate of the image is given by this, the y coordinate of the image is given by this, which is what this expression is telling me. So I hope you enjoyed this. In the next couple of videos, we'll look at examples on applying this uh, transformation rule. I look forward to seeing you there. Bye.